Hello YouTube, what's happening? Well, uh, it's another beautiful day in Washington, absolutely. Actually, it is quite nice. Um, it's not raining. So, this is my guide today for installing a capacitor. Now, I got a capacitor for my subs, and I noticed online there's not really just, there's shit for guides. There really is. There's not much at all, you know? So, I had a hard time figuring out how to install it. I used a, uh, like a text guide, you know, there's no good video guides on YouTube, so, um, I was thinking I'd make a pretty good self-explanatory video, kind of, of how to put in a capacitor if you decide to get one, so, when I was watching, uh, EXO Contralto, EXO a big deal, I was watching his videos, and he was talking about how capacitors, you know, they're really your choice, um, you don't really need one, they do make your alternator work harder. But, um, I got a $300 capacitor for free from one of my amazing friends, who's an audio guy, has been for years, he had it laying around. So, um, you know, I decided, what the hell, I'm putting in the capacitor, so, here's my capacitor on the sub, sub box here. So, um, if we take the keys, and I don't know why it's not lit up right now, it's usually lit up. I hope it didn't break. Because I look like a dumbass making a video with my own capacitor broken. That'd be just retarded. I don't know, it might just not be charged. I might have not given it enough time to charge when I was running the car today. So, we'll just, we'll turn the power on. We'll see. Okay, we're good. Yeah. Um, it's holding 12.4. A capacitor, what it does is it holds a charge from your battery. That, um, it gives your, your amp power... For the big bass hits and so it doesn't dim your headlights as much it doesn't dim your interior lights or you know anything like that which you'll see if you got if you got powerful subs and you're running them at a lot of power then um yeah you'll see a lot of dimming and stuff and this it pretty much gets rid of it it does um but what it does is when it uses the charge in it it replaces it i mean it recharges and so your alternator it works harder and sometimes you know that's not good my alternator it's got a squeaky bell it's a piece of shit bell it's really loud so um i don't want to make this video too long because my power is on in my car but well shit i guess i don't really need it on do i i'll go ahead and turn it off then all right so to install the capacitor mine you know it didn't come with the bracket for installing it it didn't come with the one that would come with the capacitor and you know I had one of these things laying around my garage it's just some it's some pliable metal with some holes in it so I mean that works great um, you can pretty much put it anywhere you can put it you know like next to your amp like over there on top of your box you can put it on side of your box like me it really doesn't matter it's just your choice of where you want to put it as long as your damn power cable is long enough I actually had to make a longer one but to actually hook it up but what you do is pretty easy it really is um on the capacitor shit I don't know if I don't know if you can see it without it's a little bit covered up but can you see that's a negative there's there's a negative side under those there's the positive the the negative side is your ground all you have to do for the negative side is run a wire to the ground which my ground is under all this shit and that's that that yellow wire running from the negative is the ground these two wires one of them is my yellow power wire which you know I don't think I covered this in another video but don't use a power wire like I'm using I have this thick power wire okay um you don't want to use a little power wire like that I haven't got around to running that thick power wire because it's just, I don't have any clamps for it to hook it up to the amp. Um, it's just, there's no easy way to run it through the car, really. You know, it's it's just a bitch. So, I'm using this for now. It's really dangerous. Please don't do it. Just don't, take my word for it. Don't fucking use a goddamn power cord that's not made for the amp. So, it wasn't long enough to reach the capacitor. As you can see, it's extended. It doesn't reach over there. So, I extended it with a, another power cord that's just squirrely as fuck it's you know you don't want to use power cords like that but it's working you know it's it's working so you run 
your power cord that would normally this would normally be attached to your amp it's not attached to the amp now now you run it to the capacitor and attach it to the plus with you know little little connectors you just screw it down it's easy and then you run another wire from the capacitor which is this red one here you run it to the power of your amp so the power of your battery it goes to your capacitor which stores the charge and then goes to your amp so it's basically you know it's just in the, it's separating it's in the middle of the line of power from your battery to your amp it's really easy to put in um, this bracket I know it's not it's not like a professional like the one you know that you're supposed to use but this fucking thing ain't going nowhere um, it's working great for me you just you screw it in with a couple of screws so um so yeah it's it's pretty easy to put in a capacitor this $300 Rockford Fosgate um, I don't know what the specifications are but it's a one fire capacitor I don't know like the exact model that it is but yeah it's a Rockford Fosgate I looked them up online they're $300 um, it's working for me it is um, you know I thought I'd just I'd play a song real quick and um, show you what the capacitor does so we'll do that real quick I got a few minutes left on the video I'm gonna be making a video with um, my actual video camera so it'll be um, good quality you know but I it's not it's gonna sound like shit cuz once again I'm recording with my iPod but you know it's something so it'll just it'll give you an idea of what the capacitor is doing so we'll switch on my little hard drive since I am using the iPod for the video I always forget that I don't plan ahead um, never really been a big planner ahead kind of guy I don't even have the power of the car switched on that usually you know it usually helps to have the power on for um, you know your head unit to play music so we'll make sure okay I thought we were back on like 90 volume uh, I got my amp tuned today to about um, about like 80 or 90 volume so I'm not gonna blow my six by nines but the music sounds better now uh, it's not so not so quiet the bass isn't too overpowering you can actually hear the music so that's good it's always nice to be able to hear your music I'm just going to do a random song because I'm running out of time as soon as this goddamn hard drive reads, but I just want to show you what the capacitor is doing, you know? What it, what it should look like it's doing. Make sure you hooked it up correctly. Um, charging the capacitor, if you don't have the stuff to charge it, you have to use like a certain thing to charge it, but just hook it up. You know, just install it. It'll charge itself. I know you're, you're not really supposed to, but it seems to be working fine for me. You just hook it up. It charges itself. And yeah, so six foot, seven foot starting. I don't, I don't have it at high volume because I, I want you to be able to hear me talk. But it's taking, well, it's not really taking much. When the bass hits hard, it takes power from that capacitor and gives it to the amp, and then the capacitor recharges itself. So. Um, it's not going to be really recharging itself much with the car off. It's taking some from it, not much because it's not on high volume, but yeah, it takes power from the capacitor and then the capacitor recharges itself and gives you more power. So, uh, we'll pause that. We'll turn off the car. That is my short video today. Well, it wasn't really short. You probably had to endure a lot of bullshit, but you know, check back. I'm going to be making a video and, you know, editing it in Windows Movie Maker. It'll be actual good sound quality of my um, sound system. You know, it's not going to sound like shit like those last videos did if you watched them. If not, you know, please watch them. You know, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. I appreciate anybody that watches my videos. You know, I'm just a fellow 16-year-old bass head here with my first system. So, yeah, I'll be making a video, just a better one. I'll have some better songs, you know. So be looking forward to that. Um, so yeah, I'll probably I might do that today. I might do it tomorrow. I don't know, but just give me some time. I'll get some more stuff up. And thanks for everyone that watches this. And good luck with your capacitor.